So the film's called Prime Time, um, set on a cruise ship which is travelling around the Caribbean. Um, it's based on an organisation called Prime Timers, uh, which is um, uh, an organisation in America, uh, it's a society for older gay men. And the film, I joined them on one of their excursions. Um, this film is the first time where I am filming uh, a group of gay men. Um, Previously, my work has been about older men um, engaged in, in hobbies um, and this is the first time I'm using my own way of looking at older men as, uh, as desirable, um, as a way to navigate other concepts within the film. I used the camera in different ways for different subjects. So I always knew I wanted the boat to be framed in a very specific way. I wanted it to appear like a body, very sort of physical, masculine, where if there's a view or if we're looking through something, there's, there's always an object that's obscuring the view or it's sort of in the way slightly. It's very physical, very present. I viewed the ship as this idea of like a gentrified body or a gentrified space. So the glass and chrome construction resembled maybe like a new build in, in the city. And the way that I framed it and presented the bodies as being controlled and manipulated by it. So all these older bodies are contained uh, within this sort of younger body, um, which, was, which is the ship. What I've been trying to do with the sound is to build uh, a lot of noises that were that were being created by the ship, um, as well as bits of dialogue and as well as embrace the wind, the waves, uh, the environment that was there. But then I'm trying to create like this internalized space to almost for the viewer to embody the position of the ship. When I was filming people or filming situations, men, trying to sort of get as close as possible. There are a couple of scenes where we're exploring the body um, and we're very much, it's very much about my view. So little bits where we're holding on things for sort of slightly too long or uh, not slightly too long, but um, that encourages like a questioning of why that body's presented in that way. Through the conversations I've had with a lot of older gay men that they feel very underrepresented in that sense. Um, that it's almost like you know what a 30 year old or younger or older or slightly older body sort of looks like but when but what's what does a 70 or 80 supposed to look like or be um, you know or they're or they're supposedly not acting their age um, and so it's I feel I feel it's important for me to um, to show older men in the way that I see them. The film's called Prime Time because I'm questioning what it means to be in the prime of one's life, um, which is partly about uh, questioning links between youth and beauty, but also questioning this idea that there is a prime, that the prime is actually just now and the present, and that it should never be compared to a time before or a time in the future. A lot of the action within the film is uh, about preparing, preparation, um, cleaning. So there's always this element of waiting for something to happen that never quite happens. And in a way, there's, that's reflected in the horizon line um, in that, the, you know, no matter, you can't get any closer, it's always going to become another horizon line. There's a part of the ship, there's the radar, which I keep returning to in the ship, which is spinning around at the top. And this idea of searching for something, um, for being lost, this, it sort of helps create this loop, which is something that I'm really interested in returning to. This idea of uh, creating a sense of progression, um, but that always sort of comes back to the beginning again. So this film has been much more ambitious than anything I've previously attempted. I've been encouraged and supported to really push myself to a very vulnerable place, um, which I think is exciting. There is, 
I think in this film much more of a visual presence of of me and of questioning the role of the camera, um, which I haven't done before. And now that I've sort of pushed pushed myself past a place of um, of comfort, that's definitely something that I want to keep pushing and um, push further.